to another episode of Talking with Famous People. I'm your host, Evelyn, and today we will be interviewing famous person Megan. That's right, Evelyn, we will. <laughs> We're going to be typing her. So I'm going to ask her some typing questions. Number one, Megan, mm -hmm. when you, are, are you me? ready for me in there? Uh, you said the room with the bunch of people in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll be in there in a second, okay? Yeah. If you want to watch me type, Megan, you can. Okay, I'll do it. All right, <laughs> Megan. If you spend a lot of time with a lot of different people, a big group, and a lot of people getting there trying to get your attention and stuff, does it tire you out or energize you? It tires me out. When you feel as though you've had enough, do you want to just go isolate by yourself or do you want to go out and find something to do? Go out and find something to do. Okay. Do you prefer to socialize with friends about relationships that you guys share or about ideas that you've encountered? Um, both. Okay, so both relationships and ideas. I'm going to have to speak a lot louder, and I forgot, and I'd like you to try to speak louder, too. Okay. So, Megan, would you say that you're good at reading people's moods and emotions, their facial expressions? <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. Do you know what you're feeling about things? Do you feel confident about that? Um, yeah. Does it matter more to you whether somebody, something hurt somebody or not hurt somebody, or does it matter more to you whether somebody was right or wrong? Um, it matters if it hurts the person. Okay. What do you feel about a class? You're in a class, and you have two choices. Either the teacher gives you very, very clear instructions, which has a lot of work that um, you might not think is very useful, but is very clearly defined for you, <laughs> or a teacher that gives you less clearly defined success criterion criteria, but um, work that you think is more maybe useful? Um, well, I would want a more clear set of instructions and the um, things useful that I thing? think are more useful. Can you come closer and, uh, closer until your head is not cut, quite cut off? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, if you can't have both, which do you prefer? Uh, I would prefer... Um, the one I think is more useful. Okay. Here's a, here's a hypothetical situation. You live in a village, and the village is split in two by a river, a big raging river. And a storm comes and knocks the bridge down. Now, one side of the village produces all the food, and the other side of the village has all the manufacturing stuff. So the manufacturing side is going to starve if you don't get food over there. You can boat it across, but there's a troll who lives in the river and takes a 10% food tax from you every time you cross. He can sense when you have food on you. He can has a magical ability to sense it, and he will come and steal 10% of it from you if you cross with food. How do you feed the population on the other side? Well, what do you do in general? Well, what, what approach do you take to this? I would just pay the troll the 10%. Just pay the tax? Yeah, because then you would get food to the other people. Which but it turns out if you do that, it's winter time, and you'll run out of food before the end of winter, and then some of the people will starve. So you can't afford to pay the tax. Is this, in, is this in the status quo? Like a village in the status quo? Yeah, the village in the status quo has a troll in the river. They have a troll yeah. problem. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do? I would throw it across the river. Throw the food? That's a good solution. Why? Why is that a bad solution? parachute it over there. But what if you're not strong enough to throw it across? Use a plane. Well, Use then else. the manufacturing will send a drone. So this is the olden the days, guys. There's no there's no modern technology. You just said guys, yeah. yeah. Okay, but well, I mean, the culture is olden days-ish in that they don't have any, any new any things. Then I would kill the troll. Okay, kill the troll. <laughs> Alright, fine. Good. I like, hey, you know what's interesting is most people don't say throw it across, which is a pretty straightforward solution, you know? All right, let me ask you this. Uh, how organized are you with your stuff? Do you lose small items a lot? Do you often show up at school and realize, oh my God, I forgot my pen and my book and my keys? No. No? Does that almost never happen to you? That doesn't usually happen. Okay. I pack everything the night before. You pack it the night before? Yeah. Uh, do you, when you approach a new class, what's your first thought going to that class? What do you want to do? How are you going to approach that class? Do you have a system of some sort? Like you're taking for the first time anthropology with Miss Jenkins. <laughs> oh, I have a 
have a Miss Jenkins at my school. <laughs> well, it's a different Miss Jenkins. <laughs> So what are you gonna do? Yeah, her sister. You walk in the first day. I, what are you thinking? What's in your brain? I'm make a good impression on the teacher and like it's the next people that I know. Right, but if you're thinking to yourself, oh, this, I heard this is a really hard class. I gotta make sure I, I dot my eyes and cross my teeth to pass it. Even she gets a lot of D's and F's. Only like one person got a B last semester. She's really really hard, and nobody got an A. What are you gonna do to maximize your educational outcomes? <coughs> I would. Um, what were the reasons why the students got D's and F's? What were the reasons why? <laughs> well, because, because the teacher has really high standards. The teacher thinks that you have to basically be as good at the thing as he is to get an A. Then I will... Or she does. Oh, sh or sh he or she. I would ask them for their standards and then I would work up to them. Okay. Uh, I've got another question. If you're always walking around, there's nobody around, you're by yourself, you're walking down the street, what's going on in your head? You're thinking about the past, thinking about the future, thinking, looking around, not thinking about something you're seeing what's in front of you. Um, what? I think about the past and the future. Okay. What are your thoughts about the future? I'm like, more like, um, what classes will I get into next year? <laughs> For eighth grade. Just kind of like wondering, like, yeah. I wonder. Yeah. Do you imagine what, what it will be like? <laughs> Do you picture yourself in math class next year and imagine what it will no. be like? No. no. I, I just wonder, like, in the future, <laughs> how things will turn out. The outside voice. Really okay. Like, well, that's a seven-minute uh, initial type ga uh, type data gathering mission here on debater and famous person Megan, who's got a bunch of. These, until I moved those, Megan, they thought those leaves were growing out of your your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, thank you for thank you for being a talking with people, and thank you, audience members, for watching it. Have a good evening. Subscribe and.